So, it's crossover week here on Comics Beer and Sci-Fi, so what is a crossover? Well, crossovers aren't really anything new, from Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, to King Kong vs. Godzilla, to Alien vs. Predator. Creators have always known that if you take two beloved characters and put them together, it's going to mean, hopefully, box office magic. The comic book world was slower to catch on, as although Batman and Superman began sharing the comic book world's finest in 1941, they never actually appeared in the same story until issue 71 in 1954. At Marvel in the early 1960s, not only did Stan Lee and his collaborators set their stories in the real city of New York, but the characters all inhabited the same world. Therefore, in Amazing Spider-Man number one, Spidey tries to join the Fantastic Four. And in another Fantastic Four issue, they were recruited to fight the Hulk. And eventually, of course, as we know, a whole group of Marvel characters formed into the Avengers. Of course, this made it possible for various characters to team up with other characters and fight other characters' villains. In the 1990s, this reached sort of a ridiculous peak when the new corporate owners of Marvel wanted Wolverine in every single issue of every single character because his presence sold so many issues. Of course, now with the Marvel and DC cinematic and TV universes, crossovers are the name of the game. With DC's TV universe even allowing Arrow, Supergirl, Flash, and the Legends of Tomorrow to interact. And so it appears there's never been a better time to be a geek as all of our characters are now in the same world and able to interact with one another.